Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melina and I make cash stuffing content here on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a cash planning. This cash planning is going to be for November um, and the third week. So um, I've got all of my categories listed here. I just did a quick flip through of all of my binders and um, we do have more to work with for this particular week. Um, and the reason why <laughs> is because um, if you guys follow me over on Instagram, um, I let all of you know about a looming debt that we had had um, over our heads for literally the past five years. I haven't really been transparent about it. It's one of those things that I'm still personally trying to get used to, like actually giving you guys more details about the debt aspect. Um, I don't know. We'll get there. But for me, it's kind of one of those things that I'm like, well, we're doing so good. If I talk about it, something bad could happen. I'm one of those people. So <laughs> it's like I tend to keep like really good things that are happening um quiet until they're completely like to fruition if that makes sense so that's just one of the things um this particular debt was about twelve thousand dollars of credit card debt that we had been um having a really hard time with for the past five years honestly and then um i really honestly this is how my journey started <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a full circle moment. Okay, so there's gonna be a story time on that um, later on because I also put a poll out there for you guys to ask me questions. I want to do um, a vlog-like video um, for the holidays. And so this one, you guys just put in so many great, amazing questions. And one of those I will dive into like how I got into cash stuffing and it actually still revolves around this particular issue. So let's come back because I'm scrolling so hard. Um, the credit card is where it all began. I let you all know that that debt had been 100% paid off in 11 months. So to give you guys like perspective, this all happened like last year. And we just got notice that it was completely paid off. So I'm so excited about that. And because of that, that releases a lot of the funds that were going to paying it off um, back into my wallet that I get to keep everything. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about it. I will try to do a more in-depth video on that because I think that's really interesting. Um, and I know some of you guys are really interested in like the debt aspects and how I come up with my budget and all of those things. So with all of that said, I'm so sorry, we are going to be cash stuffing a total of $1,110. So one part of the reason why we are stuffing more is obviously because we don't have as much having to go off to pay um, that debt. And it was like on a um, out of sight, out of mind kind of way. Every single transaction I ran at work, about 19% of it would go to pay off the debt, like every single transaction. So I never saw it. But now that money's staying in my account. So, um, yeah, so we will be stuffing $1,110. And then I'm just going to grab my binders. I like to, I don't know, have them out um, to kind of help and guide me whenever I am uh, cash planning because this gives me a good, a pretty good idea of like what is really needed at the moment. So household, I think we're doing pretty good in here, 20, 40, 50. 55, 56, 57. So $57 in here, um, but we haven't had to get any like crazy um, household supplies in a while. So I'm just going to do um, $20 for this. And you know, the calculator always, I don't know, just like throws me off. I try my best to stay on top of it, but this is the one thing about cash planning that I'm terrible at. So <laughs> Um, we're gonna have to like keep on coming back over here. So minus the $20, um, so that leaves us with 1,090. And then groceries, we always give about 100 to 125, but I don't know if we just haven't been spending a lot on groceries and really making do with all of our Costco, like mass quantity purchases that we've had over the past couple of months, but somehow we've come up with like having extra, um, so yeah, we've been able to kind of dial it back down to just like 100 a week. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 65, 6, 7, 8. So $268. And because there's that much of a surplus, I think that we can just stick with um, the $100. Minus 100. Okay, um, clothing. 
We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 130. So this clothing envelope is for me and my husband. Um, you guys know $130 doesn't go that far, even with like a pair of jeans. Like, and I'm just gonna be transparent. Even if we're looking at jeans at Walmart, they're still going to run you like 20 to $30. So, you know, you might be able to each get a single outfit off of this, um, but we want to continue to um, stuff this and get it really amped up for winter. So I'm gonna do $40 because we've got a lot to work with. So 40, and I don't always stuff clothing. So I feel like this is a good, a good amount. Um, beauty has one, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 138. Um, beauty, I've been using this not only for family beauty things, but also for myself. The boys don't need a whole lot, but I've had to actually replace, um, some like beauty, oh my gosh, beauty items myself, like whether it be my brow pencil or foundation or things like that, that also comes from this envelope. Um, and I just partook in the Sephora thing. So we're going to do $20 in here. And hopefully that covers that purchase. Gas is just around the corner. And this one's kind of like a non-negotiable. We're always going to need it. So I don't really feel like I need to count it. Um, and we usually do about 60 to 75. We've got $930 left. I'm just going to go ahead and do 60. Okay, 870. Um, Cheerio and Pretzel. I just put CMP because obviously their names are so long. These are my two dogs. I have a Yorkie and a Labradoodle. Um, my Yorkie's Cheerio, Labradoodle is Pretzel. And um, Pretzel just got groomed. Cheerio, she doesn't, she's so old. She doesn't, I don't know. She just doesn't need to be groomed as often. We clip her nails, we keep her short and wash her and all of that. And I just hate to traumatize her at the groomers because she hates it. She's one of those dogs that absolutely hates it to like anxiety is a 20. <laughs> it's just crazy. So I know that pretzels appointment was a, like right around 60, which is going to basically deplete this. So we're just going to keep doing what we usually do and do $20 in here. Okay. Okay. Medical. We have gotten behind on like one bill that we really need to figure out. So um, medical right now has 100, 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, $114. And mm, we've got extra. So I really feel like medical is important. I want to go ahead and throw $40 in here. Okay. So we will bounce back here to family fun. And it's about to be the holidays. So I really want to beef up this envelope. 20, 25, 6, 7, 8, 28 dollars. Hmm. With 810 dollars left. Let's just go ahead and do 40. I am so sorry. The dogs are going insane. <laughs> and it is a weekend because I have so many videos and ideas that I want to get filmed um, between today and tomorrow. So yeah, I had to do a little bit today, just a little bit of work. Um, so we've got $51 in my envelope and I have literally not been stuffing it at all, but because like this money, all of this money, me and my husband like believe that like what I make, what he makes is ours. And that is totally the vibe. However, part of my brain is also like, I paid off this stupid credit card <laughs> virtually by myself because it was coming from every single one of my business transactions that I was slaving through. So, and I'm going to say that because there were times where I did not want to take the next client or a late client or the 8 PM client or whatever. And I was like, but I need to pay off the credit card. I need to pay off the credit card. So literally it took time away from my family and all the things, and now that this is over and we have a surplus, I'm giving myself some money this week, okay? And it's not even like it's a lot. I'm giving myself $10, okay? <laughs> I'm so dramatic. I'm so dramatic. Um, My husband, he uh, will have his birthday this week. So 110, 115, 
$115 and for his birthday, I've already told him that, um, and he already knows we are going to get, um, our tattoos together. So I'm going to get mine touched up because like this one's basically like, you can't even see it anymore, which I'd rather that happen than they blow out like some people's tattoos do. Um, but I want to get this touched up. So I'm going to get this touched up my arm that I share with my sister touched up and then I'm going to get the birth times of my boys. So, um, Mason was seven fourteen. He's our seven, he's our triple seven lucky baby. And then, um, Madden was one fifty eight. and I don't have anything to say about that time. So, <laughs> But, um, I want to get their birth times on me because they mean a lot to me. So, and I'm thinking I'm going to put them here on my wrist, just like close to my veins, which go to my heart. I don't know. Yep. I'm sentimental about my tattoos. Okay. But he knows that we're doing that for his birthday. However, um, the man has also been talking about getting a new, um, skateboard. So I'm going to go ahead and do $20 in here. We have 780 left. My nails always gets 20 and then if I need to for the skateboard, I'll probably just like pull from gifts, but he needs to pick it out. He knows that we're going to go get one, but I know nothing about skateboards. So he's going to have to like tell me what he wants and also know what the budget is, you know, um, date night. We just went on one and I think this is all gone. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do another $20 so we can maybe have our date night in December because we have our date anniversary on Christmas Eve. So yeah, $20. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to do maybe like a day date or something like, because we don't like to take away from the evening, you know, like that's the fun stuff to do with the kids. And also that's whenever, um, we do our Christmas Eve party here at my house. So um, eating out, I'm not even going to look at it. I just know that we need like $80 in here. <laughs> That's how I feel about that. Um, the barber, the boys need to get haircuts for sure. 20, 40, 50, 60, 60 70, so and 172. Okay, so I do not have enough for all three of them to get a haircut. So we're going to go ahead and do 40 so that I get closer to that because we need to take our holiday photos. And this year it's just gonna be an iPhone and my sister. Yeah, no? <laughs> um, car maintenance has one, two, 250, 270. Because um, the photographer I usually use, she is very pregnant and just can't take our photos this year. And I didn't know. So it's gonna be an iPhone camera this year. That is totally fine. Um, car maintenance, let's just do 15 because it's doing pretty well and I know we've got registrations coming up. So, okay, 6.45 and that is it for my high priority binder. Now guys, those of you that are just beginning your cash stuffing journey and like cash planning, I do want to know, you know, it, has this been helpful? Do you do this with your cash planning? Like taking the amount you've got? Are you doing a zero based budget like this? Because... Um, everybody's process is so different. So if you've got something to add, I would love to know it. And we're just going to move on to low priority here. Okay. So in here we have renovations and lately we've just had a few more little things coming up with our renovation that, um, need to still be funded. Um, like we had to get another gallon of paint and the paint was like $66. So we don't have that here. So I definitely need to throw some money in here. Um, but 645, I don't know the other stuff coming. Uh, let's, it's going to be $20 this week. It'll be fine. So that will have us at $46, but it'll be okay. It will be okay. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. <laughs> um, let's see decor. We have not stuffed this one in a while. Okay, let's do $20. And that's the other thing is that decor and reno are kind of like both um, helping with the project. So if I have to, I can pull from here too. Yes, could I put it all in the same envelope? Sure, but that's not fun. Okay. <laughs> um, organizing has 25. So I'm going to do 10. Okay. 35 um cash stuffing fund i did want to put some money in here it looks like 
we've got 50, one, two, three. Um, you can just do like 10 bucks. And beverages is very low. We've got $10 in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 40 because husband Celsius is 30. And then each like box of eight of my drinks runs about, depending on if there's a sale, runs like five to seven dollars so i don't know if i subtracted that we're gonna do it and then if i'm missing forty dollars we know yep okay um gardening needs some love so we've got six dollars i'm gonna go ahead and do 15 in here okay concerts we're gonna be skipping birthday parties let's see we have fifty dollars so we're gonna go ahead and do 25 need to start getting that refilled up for march um gifts we've got 150 170 190 200 dollars honestly that is a really good amount to have in here but let's just go ahead and do 20 dollars wedding ring we have not stuffed this in a while and we have 2300 in the bank so let's just do 50 because again we have not done that in a very long time lottery has I don't know why I'm <laughs> trying to pull for the envelope there's nothing in it so um I don't know let me see if I even planned on stuffing it Okay, I did. So there's nothing in it. We've got 480. Let's do $10. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. And then the last one back here is a savings um, envelope, but I don't want to stuff that quite yet. So that is it for my low priority. Next, we have the kids binder. And I always like to stuff a little bit in here. Like anytime I can, you know, these kids be asking for everything. So kids buffer always gets $5. Um, Mason and Madden always get $5. So that's 15. Okay. Um, and then their clothing and shoes. Let me just see how much they've got in there. They've got 20, 40, 60, 85. Um, I'm just go ahead and do ten dollars. Okay, uh, we also said we wanted to stuff tutoring, doesn't have anything in here quite yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kick it off with ten dollars. Back to school, I think it's yeah, it has a full 200, but. I think we can kind of back off a little bit and just do like five bucks. Okay, so next we want to do school expenses. 50, 70, one, two, three. And I really like to have a hundred in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that happen by doing $27. Okay. Um, sports is, yes getting filled. I don't know why I'm stuttering here, but we always do 30, so it doesn't matter what is in there right now, especially with having this abundance. Um, braces, we've been doing $15. I think I wanna keep up with it because it looks like we've got enough. So braces and future cars, we've been doing 15. So we'll do 30 there. And future cars, yes. Okay, so we're good to go with the kids binder and we still have $343 left to work with. Next is my holidays and summer binder and I am obsessed with this binder now too because of this fluted dashboard. I got it off Amazon. I got two of them for like $14 guys. So don't be letting anybody fool you on the cost of this. And it even came as like a book with paper and all the things in it. Um, I shared this in a past cash stuffing video with you guys. So um, definitely go take a look at that. Or if you're looking for one yourself, it is linked in my Amazon storefront where like my cash stuffing um, folder is. So yeah. Um, Valentine's Day, I did want to get like caught up on this. So let me see. 
I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, but 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, we could totally do that. Let's do $25 for Valentine's Day. Okay, um, Easter, I guess it's just up to me and what I wanna do now because I'm taking a small break from some trackers. I don't know how long it's gonna last because I really do miss coloring everything in, but we're gonna go ahead and do $5 for Easter. Okay, um, Cinco de Mayo has nothing and I want to start stuffing that, so we'll do five. Um, Mother's Day, same thing. I don't have a tracker in here, but it looks like we've got 105, so we could add five to be 110. Father's Day, we keep them the same, so we'll do those five, two, that five also, and I'm not subtracting, Ugh, so we're going to subtract 10. I'm probably going to still have money left over. I feel like I've got to update this and go come back, so... Oh no. Give me one second. I'm going to do this off camera and then be right back with the actual numbers. So right now it says 298, but I need to make sure that's what I got. So one second. Okay, we're back and I'm definitely so glad I went and checked it because we actually have $173 left. And I realized that there's definitely one, two, three things on here that um, are always fixed numbers. So I need to get those and play first. So Christmas always gets 30. And um, we have decided to um, keep stuffing that until the end of November. Summer always gets 48. And November, we're gonna go ahead and finish it out by giving it the remainder $55, which leaves us with $40. So, Let's see if we can make this work. So, 4th of July, um, let's do 10. I think it'll be good. 10. Okay. Um, Thanksgiving, we can do 10. And then Black Friday, I guess just to like get it started because we have not, have not put anything in it. Um, I know that for sure. Let's just go back. Um... Yeah, Black Friday has nothing in it. So I just want to put something in there. So give it $5. Um, Christmas Eve, let's see, $240. Let me do this five. We have $15. Okay. Between Christmas Eve and Holiday Buffer. Mm. Okay. Christmas Eve is really important. So we're going to do 10 And then we'll do the $5 for the buffer. Woohoo! Okay, so we have zero base budgeted that $1,110. Now what we have left to do is to tally everything up. And we'll do that real quick. Okay, so to tally everything up, you literally just, I mean, it's totally up to you. This is the um, the numbers and stuff that you're going to give to the teller and how you can stuff, um, you know, everything exactly how you need it. It just makes everything so easy. So, um, household, we like to just go ahead and do largest denominations if possible. It just depends on, I don't know. Sometimes we know that we need to have change whenever we are planning for an unstuffing here soon, but I think we are good right now. So groceries, we can do, um, five twenties, uh, two, one, three, and I am doing a lot of twenties because these categories up here, um, actually get like unstuffed the most often. So I don't need to have like a 50 for, you know, a 50 and a 10 for 60. Um, hopefully that makes sense for you guys. So, um, cherry on pretzel is 20. So we'll do one, two. And sometimes this can just be kind of boring. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up with me tallying everything for you guys.
Okay, so I've tallied everything up individually and now I need to go through and like add them all up. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Okay, so now we've got it all tallied up. And so down here, we've got the total, how many um, hundreds, we don't need any of those, two fifties, 38 twenties, 15 tens, 19 fives, no twos and five ones. So then what you would do, um, you can have any sort of teller slip out there, but I like my matte vellum ones. I just transfer everything over to this. So um, let me find a fun little color. So we're gonna use my Millennial Dollar Wet Erase Markers and we're just going to transfer all of this information over. So we have 250s, which comes out to 100. Um, we have 3820s, and I've already done this math off camera because I didn't wanna bore you guys with it, um, is $760. Tens, we had 15, which is 150. Um, fives, we had 19, which is 95 and then five ones. And then if you want to just triple check it, you add everything over here in the furthest right column. So 100 plus 760 plus 150, 95 and five, we have that $1,110. So love to see it when it all comes together and there's no little hiccups or mess ups. So now we are ready to actually do the stuffing for um, this week's cash stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And then guys, if you are not yet subscribed, do me the biggest favor and hit this button to the right side of your screen. It'll automatically subscribe you to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Bye.